Oh, sorry guys, didn't even see you there. Um, <laughs> welcome back to the channel and uh, probably quite a boring video, I will say this off the bat. But nonetheless, I thought I'd bring you in, it's part of the process. Um, you're probably wondering why I've got a pot of slightly milky, grubby looking water. So, that is, um, try and find the words to say this to you guys after the last video. Uh, that's salt. Yeah, I. Yeah, I'm, I'm adding salt to it. Salt to the wounds, as they say. Oh, what the hell has happened to me? <clears throat> So, you join me again with the massive Volvo which has taken up my unit and um, today's video is basically going to be sanding and making sure I'm happy with the patina because you can manipulate it a little bit to make it a bit better. Um, <laughs> it's so weird doing, I love doing this car, I really really do love doing this car but it is so odd because you, you normally make something look better but this is kind of automotive art in my eyes and a lot of people's eyes that have commented actually it's had kind of really good response which just shocked me a bit um yeah we're gonna crack on so we've basically got the roof all the welding's done all the filling's done all that's done we've got to just get the car flat um as in keyed up the car's not gonna be flat it's got lumps and bumps all over it dents and rust all over it we need to get it flat we need to make the scuttle look like it's meant to be there as well so i'll show you what i mean by that here is an area of the car i've actually got a rattle can clear and I've just gone on this little corner here. So obviously that's where I've sanded through again. This is all fresh paint. That's where I've made it look like sun damage up there. Again, sun damage. And that is actually with clear coat on it. Kind of up to, to there. That is a sneak peek of what I hope is um, going to be like the finished look of it. There's going to be no like mad prep on this. We're just keying the car back with a basic scotch pad which is all i did there to achieve that i just thought i'd test the corner inconspicuous you know the bit you see all the time um how's it going to look i couldn't decide on satin clear or matte clear or gloss i've just made the order for the products so what do you think i've gone for uh i've gone for it for a few reasons and i'll get into that in the next episode when we're actually putting on the car but yeah i think it's better and i uh, yeah yeah we're going to that. So basically what we've got to do now is you can see where obviously I got rid of all the crusty bits. This is natural kind of damage. And this is now gone like the correct rusty colour now because I put salt water on it and left it for a few days. So we are going to be doing the same again. So you can see here where I've just started feathering the edges of these. These are all the blisters and I'll have to put a little bit of salt in them just to make it do that. Salt you ask, why am I doing that to the car? Because when I clear it, I don't want it to look like I've done this as such obviously i haven't all of these individual areas on the car are actually rust spots that were on the car but you can't clear coat a car with all the crusty bits trying to hang off it because your paint's never going to stick is it so or you're going to be going like that with your spray gun and just blowing little feathers of dust everywhere uh sort of bits of rust and paint so i've had to make it flat so purely i can sand the car but i want to make it look like the sun's done that and it's done it naturally Again, it's all a big experiment. I'm really, really enjoying just having a bit of free reign with this car. I'm not really worrying about its outcome because it's going to get used as a Volvo estate. And I couldn't really care less if anyone liked it or not, because I do. Yep, said it, guys. Right, a little quick walk around the car and I'll show you kind of the areas I want to focus on. So like here, again, it's had a bit of salt put into it. So obviously this was fresh and I've let it flash rust when it was outside. So that's kind of where we've gone with that. Uh, on the roof here, I've burnt through again. My roof rack comes up to kind of just, I think it was around about the front doors here, but then all the way back. So you don't actually see much off my roof. So what I've done is burnt through again. There was a burn through mark there and a burn through mark there. And I've tried to put them back where they were. So now I just need to scotch this. But you can see this is fresh paint. And obviously once I've scotched that, it will, because this is already scotched and sun damaged, we'll be able to feather it all in, hopefully. I mean, <laughs> I've broadcasted this across social media so people know that i've created some of the patina but what i'm trying to get at is people that haven't seen it think it's happened so like that i haven't done that 
that has always been there it's about the car so we're gonna crack on there'll be a lot of time lapse in and i'll probably chat while i do a bit of the work otherwise i'm gonna get a bit lonely in here on my lonesome on my todd with loads of scotch pads but i want in this episode to get the whole car flat um and basically get it ready for masking up degreasing when the products arrive and like i say this isn't a professional thing to do is it so i'm not professional all i'm doing is scotching a car up and i might burn through a few more areas because it looks cool all right catching a bit while i'm doing this can you please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up comment below i love chatting to you guys so please do that check out for the link in the description below as well i've got stickers and some beanie hats um, and i've actually got an email bouncing back and forth out getting some t-shirts and stuff done so please just go and check all that down below and um that'd be a massive help because yeah i've bought a lot of sandpaper recently i need to pay for it bye But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Right, so that's the bonnet kind of scotched And what I'll do is I'll clean out these areas Where there's a bit of dust in them now And then carry on trying to make them look more legit Now this is the bit that's quite weird Is I'm now starting to sand back I'm, I'm very, very lightly touching this bodywork, by the way. I'm not like gouging it. So I just want to reiterate that a little bit. But all I'm doing now is just giving this a very, very light key. So this paint that took me ages to get to this stage, which is why I personally said it really doesn't matter, is why, because I'm doing this. Just gonna rough it up again. Which trust me, feels as weird as me doing it, as you guys watching, so. So yeah, just a very, very light key, just so the paint can, the, uh, the clear coat, or paint, I guess it is paint, can stick to it basically. So I get right up in that gutter, and that is as far as I want to go. What I'm going to do is go back with a little bit of paper and just highlight a few areas to show the primer, and I'll show you that when I, when I get around to it. But yeah, like I say, it's gonna be quite a boring video, guys, but those of you that are stuck around and watch to the end, you know how much I appreciate it. So yeah, just giving it a very, very light key so the paint can stick. That is it, that is all we're doing. Very, very light key. That can go up there like that, around there. And yeah. You can now actually see how well the colours match now. Now it's been keyed back a bit, so let's hope it stays like that. So, I'll turn you around now. We'll do this side. Remember that big rust hole that was here? I mean, at least that's satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> it feels so weird. So, that's what it's gonna be. Anywhere you are in the country. Mask and blast, mask and blast. So yeah, I have to admit, sanding this back a little bit and just creating it, I've actually not done a bad job with this. I wouldn't say I've done a good job. That's not what we're saying. But it's not a bad one either. I mean, in theory, I've, I've flatted that now, so if there's any issue with the profile, you would probably see it. And I can't, so let's carry on going up here. Very lightly. Oh, this feels so weird. So, an example here. The top of the wing, as you can see, I haven't sanded this one yet, but you can see now the color is pretty much bang on where I want it. Obviously we're gonna degrease the car and stuff like that. I want to get the whole car flatted, like mentioned, and we're just gonna nib in all these bits to make them go orange again, basically. Because obviously there's dust all over them now. Um, so the top of this wing here, and there's a little 
little divot defect. Um, so we're going to try and we probably sand through to kind of correspond that maybe to make that look like it's there. So I'll get a height slightly bigger sandpaper on that. Right, time for you to go on time lapse. It's going to be a long time. <laughs> oh, right. While I enjoy a nice brew, where have we got up to? All the fronts done, scuttles done, half the roof basically level with the aerials done, and we are coming up to the rear quarter on this side. So if we're getting there, it's quite nice paint to, to flat back. I mean, I am only keying it. Um, one thing to note though, which is why I brought you guys in. So this area of the car here is being repainted at some point. It's a slightly darker red here. Um, and it, that was already liking when I got it, the burnt through bits. As I'm sanding it, it's picking up on all the higher spots. So obviously it's had a bit of a reaction there, which worries me a bit, but uh, I'll look at the state of the car, do you know what I mean? So, um, but what it is doing, it's highlighting all the scratches in the car, which obviously will show up even more once it's clear coated. It's so, so weird to actually want that to happen, but really the car, this side, apart from one dent in that seal, is dead straight. There's not a dent in this car. The other side didn't matter, but this side is actually incredibly straight. So I've got like this section here just to do, I've kind of done up to about there. And then this whole side's done, half the roof's done. We can finish the boot lid off and crack on with the other side, but I won't film the other side because you don't need to see me do both sides of the car. But um, yeah, you'll notice I've added a sticker as well. You can also buy these stickers in the link description below, like I mentioned. All the grill and stuff is being removed in the back so I can mask off properly. So keep that safe because that is unobtainium. Yeah, we're getting there. It's a, a very flat car now. shows on camera but my hands are so red <laughs> oh we're getting there I literally have got a wing to finish there and I'll bring you guys in to show you where we've got up to and how we've blended everything thank you for staying with me really appreciate it oh, I'm so excited to see this in clear I really hope it goes well I really do it's literally gonna be shoot this unit off sends it Let's do it. Oh, so cool. Right, so this is the last bit done. Yes. But I thought I'd show you just how I get what I've done on the other side, and I'm not going to do it in the same spot, otherwise it will look fake. It's just on the higher spot, it's just burned through a little bit. Just to see the primer, like that. And there's a nick on the wing at the back there. There's a nick on the wing just at the back, so 
Again, I'm not showing loads of it. It's a little bit like that, so it looks like it's right. There's another high spot there. So we'll pick up on that. I'm just using a very fine sandpaper. Now all that's done is just shown a little bit of that and then we just scotch, scotch over like that. So now there's like a little bit of wear where, you know, you would have normally washed or touched the car. So it kind of looks right. What I am going to do is probably a little bit of the same up here. Just until we see a bit of primer show. Much like that. It's just picking up on the slightly higher spots because if you remember, I didn't go mad here. I didn't go mad on the prep at all. So I'm just picking up on a few of the higher spots where you would you expect wear to have occurred over the years. And again, run over it with a scotch. So that, guys, is... So the higher spots there, I've just picked up on a few little little nibs there. Again there, so you can actually see how quite how well this matches now, which is absolutely what I wanted. But obviously if I leave it perfect, the rest of the car isn't perfect, so it's going to look a bit odd. So I'm going to carry on just doing a bit of that all the way along. So, there we go. The whole car is flatted, ready for clear coat. Not just quite yet, but getting there. So, you can see here where there's already the defect, and I've carried on that defect. And then just where you would expect maybe to wash your car over the years. And then that's just why I didn't go mad with these, these grills. So now I've just run the scotch. This is literally running the scotch pad over. And you can see it's just picked up on the higher spots, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. So, yeah, that's how it is. That's the bit we've had to fake along with the roof. Um, again, I just showed you there on camera, I just picked up on the higher spot. Because again, that's kind of where, you know, you're washing your car, the wear and the paint, and again at the back. And obviously not in the same spot, but try to carry it on. There's already a bit of scuffing to the bonnet here, so we've just carried it on around there. That's the idea. And the same on the roof. I just, all the corners of the roof when I got the car were showing primer. And I've kind of just tried to keep creating what it would have been. Again, look, that's fake sun damage and stuff like that. And it's got the original sun damage there, so... It doesn't look a million miles off. Hopefully it's in clear, it won't look too bad. But that is us all done. The only bit I've got to finish off in boot lid is just obviously this main part of the boot, but I need to take this off first. Um, one thing I have noticed, looking very, very faint here, I don't know if you can see that, it's got RAC. So anyone that's not in the UK, that's uh, like a recovery company for us. So we've got the AA and the RAC, green flag, etc. cetera. Um, so this is an old GB sticker. Now I'm going to take it off obviously because I can't clear coat over it. But what I'm thinking of doing is trying to find if, if I can get one with the RAC logo on the top. Because I think it's part of its history. It's obviously been abroad at some point, which is nice. And I think it should be put back on. Um, I think even if I take this off and try and scotch it, I'm going to have a lighter part. So I quite like the fact that it's part of its history. So I'm going to try and leave that there, but obviously with a new one. Um, and what we'll do is we'll stick the new one on and just scuff it up a little bit. Getting into this artistic thing. I didn't do art at school. Couldn't stand it. But this kind of art, I'm on board with very very much on board with so i think that's going to bring this video to a close um i'm all i'm going to do now is get the salt water back out <laughs> um clean out the areas where i've got dust in them now put some more salt water on uh, probably begin masking various little bits and pieces up but really i want to leave the salt through its stuff so you're, you're going to be seeing this video go out and then you're going to see um the clear coating probably a week two weeks apart maybe i don't know um youtube magic and all that but it depends how well the, the rusting goes again just so it looks real again but yeah a lot of masking i've got to try and make a booth in here so all i'm gonna do is sheet everything up and it's gonna, it's gonna take ages it's gonna take no time to put the paint on it'll be the the making it a booth but it'll be well worth it um behind the scenes we have actually started to film a video doing the engine so i'll just let you in a little bit of a secret on that it kind of moves kind of a little bit of a secret is um 
I pulled the clutch up, we roll. Let's put, we put the sleeve cylinder in and I pulled the clutch up and we may or may not have gone forward or back. So catch that video when it comes out. Um, it's a bit busy because obviously we can't keep having the bonnet up when I'm trying to do this. And I kind of decided, right, let's just get it this done. Windscreen in and in the worst case we can do on the outside. And you guys that want your classic mini content, I need to get that back out and we can work on that. Um, we're also collecting bits from the Mini Club and Estate, so if you're around for that, that's really good. Um, gonna be a good series. So engine swap, brake upgrades and stuff like that. So trying to please you all here, but it's my main priority right now. Catch you all soon in the next video. Remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It's massively appreciated. And uh, yeah, catch you next one. Winner.